Hey, what is going on everyone? This is a 113 kill game with the AK-47 using silencer and extended mags. Perks for, let's see, sleight of hand, hardline, and stalker. And using the normal assault strike package, Pred, Overwatch, and Pavlo. Underground, really not known for the best map using assault. But what I like to do on this map is use the AK-47 as a submachine gun instead of an assault rifle. I usually use assault rifles more on bigger maps, resistance, interchange, Bakara, stuff like that. And then some machine guns on the small maps like arcade and bootleg and underground. But if you treat the AK-47 as a submachine gun, it works out a little bit better. Just because the AK-47 has that, uh, that recoil that's a little bit difficult to manage at times over longer distances. So like I said, what I like to do is just try to use it as a submachine gun. And, um... Definitely have to use sleight of hand just because the AK-47 has that little bit slower reload time and like I said, I'm, I'm playing on underground, it's more close quarters and I have to reload uh, pretty fast. So I, I do end up picking up uh, a couple different weapons in this game as well, I think a SCAR and a FAD in this game, but pretty good gameplay, I hope you guys enjoy it, but the AK-47 is a gun that... I've actually shot in real life. It's another one of those guns that I've used in real life. Not in combat or anything, but at the firing the firing range. Not like the firing range on Black Ops, but like the real life firing range. Um, and the AK-47 definitely has that recoil for a reason. And the reason is the AK-47 shoots a larger caliber round than, like, let's say the M4 or M16. And the M4 and M16 both shoot 5.56, and the AK-47 uses um, 7.62. And usually 7.62 is used in, I guess, larger, like, crew serve weapons, like light machine guns, if you want to call it that. Stuff like that. So that's why the AK-47 has a little bit more of a recoil. But, like I said, I did shoot the AK-47 at the firing range. And what we would do, and let me explain this real quick. So basically, the army, like every unit has a set amount of ammunition that they get for training. Um, units that don't go to Afghanistan or Iraq or anything like that usually get a lot less because they don't need as much training as, say, the Special Forces unit I was in, which we went to Afghanistan um, two times every three years, basically. So if you can imagine, we did do a lot of training and need quite a bit of ammunition however if um like say our unit was I issued 60,000 rounds of ammunition for that year I'm you know obviously I'm making these numbers up they're probably gonna be a, a whole lot higher but say our unit was a allowed to use 60,000 rounds of ammunition but we only used 40,000 rounds of ammunition for that year during our training well the next year, the army would only give us 40,000 rounds of ammunition because that's what we used the year before. And then if that happens again, say they give us 40,000 and we only use 30,000 30, rounds of ammunition, they're only going to give us 30,000 rounds of ammunition. So what we would do is probably about once a year around September, right before the fiscal year change, is we would go out to the firing range and just shoot our ammunition. And usually while we were out there, we'd have some experts and some, like, some contractors and some weapons dealers come out there and show off their weapons as well. So we got to shoot a lot of different type of weapons while we were doing this. Yes, we were expending our ammunition. We call it a spindex, a, you know, spending exercise is, uh, is basically, yeah, spindex is what we call it. Um... So we would just go out there and we would rotate through and we would fire everything. And I mean, we shot bare 50 cals, the SCAR, we shot some German submachine guns, we shot some MP5s, pistols, um, mini guns, uh, 50 cal machine guns mounted on the turret, grenade launchers, you know, every everything you could possibly think of. We pretty much, that's what we shot out there. And uh, one of the things we did get to shoot was the AK-47. And the AK-47, and they did a demonstration while we were out there, is probably one of the best weapons as far as, um, like, it doesn't, it, it won't break. You could basically dump it, like, a pile of sand onto the weapon, 
pick it up and fire it without any malfunctions or it breaking. Now if you put the M16 or M4A1 in a pile of sand, then it is most likely going to break. So the AK-47, you can basically put it in mud and super glue and then coat it in a, you know, a, like sandpaper or something, and it's still going to shoot. It's one of those guns that it just won't break. Um, let's see, I'm going to do some comparisons between the M4A1 and the AK-47. The AK-47 is more, you know, is not really issued by the Army or anything, even though I wish it was. But, like, we, uh, the Army usually issues M16s and M4A1s. And the M4A1, I think it's about 8 pounds with a fully loaded 30 round magazine. And the AK-47 is about 11, 10 or 11 pounds with a fully loaded magazine. So it's a little bit heavier. But like I said, it's a whole lot more durable. Um, the M Like I said before, the M4 and M16 both shoot different rounds. The M16 definitely has an easier recoil to um, control. And the AK-47 is one of those guns you kind of have to put your body weight behind or it's going to kick you back just a little bit. Not as much as like the Barrett 50 cal. Um, I do have some pictures from a couple of these days where we're just shooting all different types of guns. I'm probably going to do a whole different commentary topic on that, a different gameplay and stuff like that. And uh, show you guys some of these pictures I'm talking about. I think I might even have some video of a few of us shooting the, the Bear 50 cal in real life, which is uh, pretty cool. And um, if you guys haven't seen my video from yesterday, the minigun in action in Afghanistan, um, please go check that out. And if you did watch it, let me know what you thought about it. I didn't really get any a whole lot of comments on it. As uh, many as you know, that video has a whole lot of views, but not many um, comments about the minigun. I thought that was a pretty cool clip. But anyway, like I said, this game is uh, 113 kills, I think 8 deaths. I died about 4 off the assault Moab. So, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed, and please drop a like, and I'm out. Peace!